welcome to a Disney themed episode of Bake Bites. I'm Maria and today we're going to be making a Beauty and the Beast Belle Couture dress cake. Perfect for all the little princesses out there. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now that's enough talking, let's get decorating. I'm starting off with a pre-baked cake that was baked in a Dolly Varden tin. You can find this tin online or at any cake decorating stores. I'm cutting my cake in three layers so I can fill it with passion fruit Swiss meringue buttercream. Add a little bit of buttercream on a 9 inch board so we can attach our first layer of cake. Make sure it's centered. As these cake layers are thicker, you will need to give them a good soak with simple syrup. I'll leave a description of this recipe below. On top of that, add a thick layer of buttercream and a drizzle of passion fruit. Don't worry about the bits of buttercream on the sides, this will create our crumb coat. Continue to stack, soak and fill your cake layers until you have rebuilt your dress. With the bits of buttercream on the side of the cake, grab your offset spatula and create your crumb coat. Once that's done, pop that in the fridge for 15 minutes to firm up. While the cake is in the fridge, let's wrap our doll in cling film to protect her hair and legs. Take out your cake. And before we apply another layer of buttercream, we need to cut out a hole for our doll to fit into, like you see here. Using the offcuts of cake, fill in the gap at her waist. Now, let's get her in the fridge again for 15 minutes to chill. Apply your last layer of buttercream this doesn't have to be perfect. We'll be covering it with fondant decorations in a minute. Now, this next step takes time, but it's so simple to do. Such an effective way to cover a doll cake. Using cookie cutters, I started with a three centimeter circle to create my bottom two ruffle layers. Pinch and fold the fondant into itself like you see here to create your ruffles. Now, for the majority of the dress, Use a cookie cutter smaller than your first one to create your A-line skirt. Before reaching the top, make her bodice by cutting a piece of fondant and wrapping it around her body. With smaller ruffles, Fill in the remainder of her dress. Perfect. To recreate our couture inspired dress, I've added ruffles on her top. To finish it off, take the cling off her hair. I've added a rose for that magical touch. And that's it! Isn't she beautiful and perfect for the runways? I really hope you enjoyed this episode and if you liked the video, Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more sweet goodies. And I'll catch you next time. See ya.